Phosphorus 32 is a radioisotope that has broken off its naturally occurring isotope phosphorus and gives off beta radiation. So what is the beta particle I'm talking about? Well, think about a beta particle as an electron. When the subatomic particle isn't wanted, it is discarded from the atom, just as an electron discards its electron. The only difference between a beta particle and an electron is that a beta particle is located inside the nucleus, and an electron is situated on the outside of the nucleus. You might not even know this, but you possess the great power of the isotope phosphorus. That's right, in your bones and blood mostly. Not to worry, the radioisotope phosphorus 32 we're talking about doesn't occur naturally in body like phosphorus does. But the radioisotope 32 can be used in nuclear medicine as traces in diagnostic procedures to help your body. When a tracer such as phosphorus 32 is deliberately given to a patient, it can allow parts and chemical changes of the body to be studied. This allows the existence of tumours to be detected because cancer cells absorb an excess amount of phosphorus so that they can be identified, as well as how much blood a person has in their body, and it can also treat cancers such as leukemia by killing and or slowing or stopping the disease. But it doesn't stop there. The use of the radioisotope 32 can present many benefits as well as problems when used in medicine. The benefits of the use of phosphorus 32 in medicine as well as the benefit of the use in diagnostic procedures gives a greater insight into both human and plant bodies. It can be used in the study of plants to determine the growth and development of the plant, which can help to improve agriculture. It can be used to study microbiology, and was used in the 1956 discovery of RNA. And finally, it has the additional benefit of being cheaper than radioisotope phosphorus 33. But all good things must come to an end, because as well as many benefits the radioisotope presents in medical use, it must also present problems. As mentioned previously, phosphorus 32 gives off beta particles, which are high in energy. Direct exposure by breathing, eating, or touching this can allow these small high energy beta particles to disrupt cell function, becoming an obvious health hazard. Another problem associated is the production of radioactive waste through low level radioactivity released by isotopes. Thus, the waste having to be disposed of separately those with half-lives less than 19 days. So you must be a bit disappointed thinking that this radioisotope is capable of having so many advantages only to find out it has a fatal flaw. All hope should not be lost just yet because radioisotope phosphorus 32 has the sacred benefit of having a short physical half-life of 14.29 days and if used with caution by avoiding handling, using lead protection and monitoring the use of the radiation badge allow all the problems of using this radioisotope to be outweighed by the advantages associated, allowing many advantages in medical use with more